Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of Super Mario Brothers, the final part of the game. And we are continuing on with World 7. And right off the bat, there are a bunch of cans full of bullet bills just waiting to shoot you. And make sure you watch out for all of them. snow-themed world. I just realized that while getting hit by a bullet bill. <laughs> anyway, there is a mushroom up here. Let's try and get it. And we succeeded. Watch out for that last buzzy beetle. And there we go. this another underground stage? Oh, a water stage, isn't it? Uh, oh boy. Here we go. Try to avoid these bloopers. You know how much I love these. And oh boy, what do you know? They have me trapped. Isn't that wonderful? Don't let the... Uh, don't let the... Frame rate fool you. Try to get those coins back there. And looky here. Flying cheap sheeps. Or cheap sheep. Whatever you want to call it. And I managed to walk on top of that cheap sheep. Sometimes I look in this stage, I would like to take it slowly. And it's strange how a cheap she could make a Koopa Troopa turn around. I'm just gonna call it Koopa's room. But I think it's too late to say that. Anyway, we made the stage without any problems, and that's great. As you can see, I am, I am taking the right pathways, which is why you don't see the room moving around. Back there was a tricky one. Oops. Oh boy, let's see what Bowser would do with his AI. And... See that. Bowser threw hammers, was he?
guess it doesn't matter anymore. He will make sure that you do not get to the presses. Princess is trying to tell you is that after you beat the game, you get to select what world you want to go to by by pressing the B button. It depends what system you're playing it on. And this is what Peach. <coughs> I meant. This is what the princess. Just about done. 
doesn't. that just about does it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough and I shall see you in the next one. <laughs> Until then, see you guys next time.